Hey plant fam! Welcome back to my channel if you are new here. My name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. If you're not new here, thank you for coming back. So I'm sitting on the floor in my bedroom today in front of the Hoya cabinet. Not my favorite spot to film, but we're here. And I have some plant mail and this one comes from the Homebody in Coral Springs. Florida. So this is not anybody that I've ordered from before, but they had some good deals and I was curious. So I've got plant mail and we are going to open it up together. There's quite a few plants in here and I'm excited to see it. So this is what it looks like when I open up the box. Got a little thank you taped to the top here. We hope to bring light and joy to your days. Um, I'll leave you guys all of their information down below. I got these on Plant Story. Um, ooh, pretty. This is really pretty packaging. Not mad about it. Let's start with this little one. Look at how cute this packaging is. So that is the name of the company. A lifestyle worth living really cute really cute i don't know who has time to wrap all the plants up like this each one of them has their own thing but like it's all the same so i don't know seems time consuming <laughs> for for somebody who packages plants um I used to write like little handwritten thank you cards and now I just like genuinely don't have time because I have so many more orders per week than I used to. Okay, first plant. I have no idea. We're gonna find out. Um, looks a little brown. Oh man, this was the newest leaf. That's totally rotted. Oh, that's a bummer. I only, I literally, I bought it because it had new growth because these take freaking forever to grow. I'm really bummed about this. I'm not going to lie, you guys, because I've been wanting a variegated Monstera Peru for a really long time and I've been waiting for the right one. It's beautiful, but it's going to take a million years to grow now if it's not rotted at the base. Ugh. So that's really disappointing. Not a good start. Doesn't matter how cute the packaging is if the plant doesn't look good. Starting to get a little nervous now. Um, plant number two. Um, oh, this is the Epipremnum Panatum Bali, I'm pretty sure it's called. It's got this like very interesting like minty variegation on it so i wanted to give it a shot the new growth on this one is fine it looks like it's just in moss at the top with like perlite and bark underneath so epipremnum bali i just thought it was cool looking <laughs> um it's got like this interesting minty uh -ness to it and it's a panatum so i figured we'd give it a shot that one looks good. Oh, I'm really bummed. This is the second time I've gotten a Peru in the mail that was not good. The first one died. So I'm just like, <laughs> maybe I'm not meant to have this plant. Okay, next, plant number three. One of them was quite large. I don't know how they fit it in here without breaking it. Which one are you? I feel like there's a plant missing. Um, oh, cute. So this is an Aglionema. It had no ID, but I thought it was pretty. Um, and you guys know, if you know me, that I do love a good Aglionema. So it just has these like really interesting silvery leaves. The lighting is really bad in here. I apologize. I can turn you around um, or just put like B-roll over so you can see 
what these look like better. Yeah, it looks like something I'm definitely gonna wanna like propagate because it's kind of awkward and long, but it's really cute. Just looks like it had thrips at one point in time, which is a little concerning. Um, maybe that's just the leaf came out wonky. I don't know, but it is working on some new growth, and I thought it was really pretty. It's just like this silvery, interesting agliohema that nobody wanted but me, so I snagged it. Okay, so then, yeah, I think there's a plant missing. There's, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be like a little anthurium seedling as well. Unless I'm getting it confused with a different order. I'll have to look. Um, so then this would be the large one, which is interesting. I don't know how they fit it in here. They fold it over itself. We're gonna find out. Hmm. I don't wanna break it, so. Gotta make sure that I get all the floof off you. They just kind of like wrapped it up in itself, um, which did cause it to break. And it's very, very thirsty, like very, very limp, which is odd because it's a ripsalis and usually they're quite turgid. So it did break in several places. It broke here. Um, it broke here. My cat's wiping on the door. It broke here. So it's broken and it's quite wrinkly and covered in like hard water stain. Bub, relax, please. Yeah, so like it doesn't look good. It looks like really trashy. It's broken here. It's broken here. It's broken here. Like it's not, it's not supposed to be like kinky like this. This was a paradox set that I'm gonna need to propagate like the whole thing. And I don't know what this white stuff is on here. Hard water stain, hopefully, maybe, but it looks like a white, like powdery substance. Don't you touch those plants. He's being so annoying. I really thought there was an anthurium seedling coming to, this is disappointing because I really wanted a long one and now I, I'm going to have to propagate it and hope that even though these are really squishy and flimsy down here, that like it'll actually root because it's definitely broken um, on every single vine. Am I disappointed? Yes. <laughs> Will I buy from them again? Probably not. Um, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, I'm not really super enamored with like any of this in particular um this is definitely very disappointing i'm not happy i'm not happy about this at all um this is ex extremely disappointing because it's just like if you if you couldn't package a big plant then don't sell it as a big plant cut it up and sell propagations of it it's a stiff plant it's not like a a plant that you can just like wrap up. And I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be an anthurium seedling, so I'd say the cutest thing is probably this epipremnum. And this little aglionema, even though she's a little on the wonky side. Cute packaging, but doesn't matter if it's cute if the plants don't arrive well. So two out of four, I think there's supposed to be five actually, um, arriving badly is not good. It's not good odds. So, um, yeah, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Would you be disappointed in this plant mail? Um, I'm not, I'm certainly not going to hide the fact that I'm disappointed in this plant mail. Okay, fam. So it's like two weeks later and I've got some replacement mail. 
that I wanted to open with you guys. I've been waiting to post this video because I wanted to give them an opportunity to resend the Monstera Peru as well as the Anthurium seedling that they did not put inside my first box. So it did take a little while, but they were very nice about it. And I'm excited to see what they look like, although it just looks like there's only one in the box. So maybe they just changed their mind and they don't want to sell me the Anthurium <laughs> because they just seem to not ever put it in the box. So I'll definitely be um, expecting a refund on that. So this should be the Peru. It's very small. Alright, let's see what it looks like. It definitely is not as bad looking as the other one, but it does have like this same weird like black stuff all over it I'm not exactly sure what that is this is the newest leaf and hopefully it'll keep on growing it's cute it's got a little bit of damage it's not perfect I'm just not exactly sure what this like brown stuff is on here I'm going to clean it up really good. Um, definitely bummed about the Anthurium seedling because I was expecting that one to come in this box. So like I said in the beginning of this video, I probably won't be ordering from this company again. But um, I mean, at least they attempted to make it right. So. Okay, so that is it for this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me. If you did, you should give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There is a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam. Get yourself some perks, some extra content. There's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me. You guys know that everything is appreciated. I can't do this without you. The best way to support my channel is to shop my website, which I will leave linked down below for you guys. And um, I love you. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. Don't forget to spread kindness. Don't forget to drink your water. And I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to like know who you're buying from too, because this is like, nah, this is not good. <laughs> I gotta laugh, right? Um, I love you guys. I will see you again soon. Bye.